let's go live. Let's no, let's go. Let's do it. No, let's let's press go record. No. Ooh! I have so many people ask me, how did you get over the fear of doing video? How did you get over the fear of doing Facebook Live? Hey, my name is Candace. We watched them from Create Freedom with Candace.com. In this video, I'm actually gonna show you a few tricks that you could actually use to disguise your fear of being in front of camera, doing video, doing live video. And all of this trick are free. You do not need to buy anything for that. All right, so let's get right into it. If you must do a video standing up, that is totally fine. In fact, that might help you with getting over the fear of doing video anyway. One of the things that I suggest you to, besides holding on to something to, to comfort you in your hand, you also need to make sure that you have enough room, you have enough space everywhere, front, back, everywhere, so that you can move around and having your body just there moving around. Because some of the people, they feel better if they were being able to move around. You could get close up, you could get pulling back here, you could move to the left a little bit, and, that, and then your hand could do a, some gesture that could help you. So that's how you could actually disguise your fear. Now don't go crazy, crazy with the arm like this, now you're distracting your, your audience but at least have a little bit movement so that your audience will not be distracted, but you are also comfortable with it, right? So that's, a, that's how you could do a video standing up. So if you must do your video inside or you like to do your video at your desk, there's definitely other way to help you to disguise your fear that also help you to calm your nerve when you're doing your video, all right? So one of the things that I personally have done and it, I'm still doing it from time to time is that Find an object that you could hold on to in your hand, whether it is a pen, all right? If, it's, if you have, you, you're a person that would like to hold a pen or a stress ball or some little thing that help you while you're doing, you could hold on to it and play around with it when you're doing video. That would be totally fine because that give, if those are the stuff that give you comfort and calms your nerve when you're doing your video, use that. It's okay, it's totally okay being natural. I am one of those people that I could do video at my desk and sometimes I like to hold on to an object such as pen that helps me because I came from educational background, holding a pen, holding a marker, it helps me, all right? So here's another tips on this guide. Your fear of doing video is doing it outdoor. When it's nice outside, doing it outdoor. Why do you ask? Okay, doing it outdoor is so great. Just look at me right now. I have a pair of sunglasses on. This is how I disguise my fear. When I have my sunglasses on, doesn't matter what type of sunglasses, it's not, it's not the magic sunglasses. When I have my sunglasses on, the audience can't really tell if, I'm, have, if I have my eyes closed or if I'm looking to the light, to the left or to the right. But a lot of people are scared doing Facebook Live. It's because when we're looking at the camera, we're not sure where to look at and we keep staring at our eyes. And then when our eyes want us wandering around, we worry that audience will find out. So if you were wearing sunglasses, it helps you describe that. So if you take off your sunglasses, you're going to start staring at yourself. And that's why one of the things that was what is holding people back doing Facebook Live was because they're staring at their eyes. They're trying to figure out, am I looking okay? But if you have your sunglasses on, it's kind of funny, but it is true. You got to try it. If you are afraid of doing video, try to do it outdoor with your sunglasses on. Don't do it inside with your sunglasses on. Now that's weird. Okay? So, disguise your fear by covering your eyes with sunglasses. And people will be okay with it because your audience are looking forward to hear the content. All right. So that's another way it will help you to disguise your fear of doing video, Facebook Live, whatever it is. Okay. That's another trick. Okay. Another reason why people are afraid of doing video and or doing Facebook Live or any live stream video at all is really because they're afraid that they will forget what they have to say. There's few things that you could do to prevent that happening is to actually, you know what, take some notes down, put some note or maybe have some notepad sticking in front of the camera so that you could glance at it, all right? Or if you're doing a Facebook Live or any live stream at all, be humble, let your audience know, hey guys, I am going to read from my notebook. It is so okay, your audience understand. If you're being honest with them, say, hey, 
I'm going to read from the notebook from time to time because I do not want to forget everything that I want to share with you guys. So it's okay to use notebook. Be sure to use notes if you are still, still new in doing Facebook Live. You don't have to write a whole script if you don't want to. You could just write bulletin point and then you could go down the point so that you don't feel as that you will forget what to say. All right. Hey, if you really like these tips that I just shared with you on how to disguise your fear of video making, you definitely want to check out my three tips on how to get over the fear of Facebook Live video as well. It should be in the comment below or it probably will show up right here this way. So go ahead and check that out. Be sure to like this video, share this video to help other people and subscribe to my channel. With that being said, this is Candace from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com and I'll see you next time. Bye.